Hello to everyone. How y'all guys doing today? My name is Achila Yana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, then just welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's topic, we are going to be talking about Black American hairstyles with American Indian origins. Now, I do want to point out that um, no hairstyle is exclusive to one landmass. And as much as people try to push this narrative, it is just completely false. Um, Afros existed here in the Americas prior to Columbus. And, um, and even um, the African presence itself. Um, again, I want to point out that they told us that we come from an ape, right? From the Ad Africa theory, an ape called Lucy. And she is, what, three million years old? But the ancient American Indian ancestor found in America, okay, Luzia, she is 11.5 million years old. And look at the facial reconstruction they have of her here. Look at the hair texture they have of her here, okay? Obviously, she has 4A or 4B um, hair type. So, again, I'm not here to persuade you. I'm not here to debate. This is just information. I'm, and I'm just here to present it to you guys. I also want to point out that um, the information that we get from them, this is things that they told us. You know, remember that we are not in these labs to confirm the things that they tell us about ourselves. You know, um, they always tell us how pale skin, not light skin, but pale skin um, emerged, what, eight or 10,000 years ago. Okay, so if pale skin emerged eight or 10,000 years ago, what was the skin tone by default before? Okay, got to think here. So if dark skin was by default, then the variables for our hair textures are infinite. And again, this goes for every landmass, okay? This goes for every landmass because on every landmass, you can find an ancient um, melanated indigenous race of people with all different types of hair textures, okay? So I just wanted to point that out there because I hate when people fall into the, oh, you can't be this because you have dark skin and kinky coolie hair. Well, guess what? So did a lot of indigenous American people, okay? They just don't show you the images, okay, of them. They don't show you the images of the people that look like me. They don't show the images of um, the Indians that don't look like your typical modern-day Native American. But... I'm not going to keep rambling on about that. Let's just dive right into this video. Um, first and foremost, um, I already went over um, Afros um, being indigenous to America, okay? Just natural hair in general, okay? Just natural hair in, in general is already indigenous to America. So I'm not going to go over that segment um, thoroughly. But I do want to touch on wigs and weaves for a second a lot of people think that indigenous americans we are light skinned with long flowing straight black hair and we wear um the the two ponytails braided at the side or the ponytail braided at the back and um braided all the way down but that's not entirely true. And in fact, that look is actually recent here in America. Okay, we had many other um, indigenous looks. For example, 
Cherokee men, believe it or not, men of the long hair clan, okay, they wear their name as implies. They did not wear ponytails, but they did use cloth or leather headbands with a false ponytail attached to the front made of animal hair, okay? And also bonus too, because I feel like this is worth mentioning. In ancient times, y'all, Cherokee people, aka Anyawaya people, um, are not so much as people, but men. The men um, sported beards, okay? Um, it was braided in the center and on the each side of the mouth, okay? And then later, um, when uh, we was influenced by Europeans, they started to shave and pluck uh, the unwanted facial hair. So I, I thought that was worth mentioning, too. American Indian people also wore wigs and weave. Um, Crow men would um, glue um, human hair or animal hair to the ends of their hair. And sometimes um, they would glue so much hair um, on their hair that it would um, drag onto the ground because it was so long. Also with the Pueblo Indians, um, they used horse hair, goat, and be uh, bear skins. Uh, they also used wool, and sometimes they were dyed and used as beards, wigs, and ceremonial trimmings. Even Hopi clowns wear wigs. The head of the clown is covered with a black sheepskin wig. The wool cut to a short length. Okay. So wigs and weaves are a part of American Indian culture. Not every American Indian culture tribe, no, obviously. But um, it did have some significance in American Indian cultures. Same with braids, okay? Same with dreadlocks. Um, there are Mayans that wore um, dreadlocks and also um, other American Indian nations as well. It is even told that there are um, indigenous American paintings that date back a thousand years ago with um, people wearing cornrows. There's even talk of Almec having cornrows, okay? Um, I've seen a debate between natives and um, the aboriginals, and the natives were saying um, how the aboriginals are claiming the Almecs had braids, but they didn't, and that the braids were actually feathers. But then I see in another meme, they saying that, oh yeah, the Almec did wear braids, but it wasn't Negro braids. So I don't know what exactly the natives mean by what they're saying about that, but when it boils down to it, the Almec did have braids. So... Um, but again, I'll let y'all decide that for yourselves, okay? And before I go, I want to touch on the straight hair argument. Um, even though I already said that, um, pretty much every hair texture, um, skin tone has been, um, in America, um, there's still the whole straight hair debate and again um there are a lot of um so-called black people ancestors who had straight hair without native american or should i say modern native american admixture or white admixture and i want to point out that um also um our ancestors our people created um hair pomades like this um, we use bear grease to straighten our hair. Uh, we would use animal fat and lye from campfire ash to straighten our hair. So I wanted to throw that out there because there is a whole bunch of questions to um, the whole straight hair thing. Um, yes, it is genetic, 
and also um, you can alter it straight as well. And our ancestors did both, okay? They had both. So it's no one hair texture over the other because they're all valid. They're all valid and they all exist in America uh, with and without admixture. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, if you have any more information on American Indian hairstyles that you would like to add, please comment them down below. Um, thank y'all guys for watching and until the next time.